Good day, my friends, and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video. I hope a fun one. I'm Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X Ray Echo, and today we're going to take a look at a very, very simple CW transceiver uh, built with only two transistors. So um, hopefully the idea of the entire thing is that uh, once I finished um, and I'm happy with the design, I can uh, actually design a tiny PCB board that it will fit in a matchbox. <laughs> I'm really excited because I also received my package from PCBWay with a bunch of PCB boards. Look what I have over here. Um, so I'm actually getting ready to finish all the projects that I designed so far. Uh, re rebuild all of them to the latest version that I updated on the, um, on the Gerbil files with the 2025 version. Um, especially I'm excited about the mini whip antenna so yeah uh, expect new videos expect uh, new blog articles I'm actually building the all this project uh, so I can take some pictures and write some really nice blog articles so um, yeah I'm really excited about that and talking about PCB way they have great PCB prototyping services PCB assembly SMD stencils CNC 3d printing and a lot more available for you and now is the moment to take advantage of the big Christmas sales. You can save up to 50% off on your orders. Uh, you get 10% off on 3D printing materials. Uh, you get 20% off starting price for the UTR8100 transparent and Somos Lido. Uh, you also have uh, free upgrades. You get purple, black mat and uh, pink solder mask. And uh, you have a bunch of free Christmas coupons, so take advantage of this big Christmas event. I think now is the time to make your orders with PCB Way. So, um, as I'm always saying, PCB Way is the way. So, uh, the whole inspiration for the uh, building a transceiver in a matchbox came from um, um, one of my favorite YouTube channels uh, by Lima Alpha 6 uh, November Charlie Alpha. And uh, he, he built a bunch of uh, transceivers, I believe, and transmitters in tiny, uh, tiny matchboxes with the antenna and the battery and everything. And I thought it was really, really cool. So I, I really wished uh, to build something similar, but a lot simpler. So I, I used these two uh, transistors uh, transceiver, uh, which is originally it, it was published in uh, the Minimalist QRP book. And it's a circuit designed by Roger uh, G3 XBM. And uh, that one was designed for the 80 meters band, I actually uh, just modified it for the 40 meters band and I made a couple of adjustments, um, uh, same ones that I did to the PTTCO CW transceiver since it's very similar. Basically this is a PTTCO CW transceiver with one extra transistor as audio amplifier and uh, you will use it with the high impedance headphones or this uh, crystal earpiece. So let's take a look at the schematic on the screen. Uh, you'll see that pretty much it's just uh, the PTT Cosidoli transceiver. Um, so um, initially I wanted to build uh, the XBM82, which is also a two, two transistors transceiver. You can check that one on Roger's website. I'll, I'll put a link down in the video description to his, uh, to his blog and probably in the blog article about this one. Uh, I'll put a link to, to that one. And um, probably I'll try that one as well. I'm curious about the sensitivity on um, on Resave. But uh, yeah, um, I think in the last video about uh, where I was talking about modifications to the to the PCB boards and the projects uh, that I made, uh, you can have a look at that one. Um, it's just one one video back. I explained why I. Um, I have the C2 over here to adjust the transmit frequency to exactly 7.030 MHz about the frequency offset uh, adjustment uh, by changing the value of R2. So have a look on that video because I'm trying not to repeat myself. But anyway, the power output is the same like the, the PTT CW transceiver and uh, yeah, I really like it. It's, it's quite a, a simple project. So um, yeah. Let's uh, let's have a listen really quick uh, just to 
uh, for you to to be able to hear the way it sounds now obviously it's hard to listen to the the crystal earpiece so i'm going to connect the transceiver straight uh, to the camera uh, from the audio output of this one since the camera has a, a high impedance input for the microphone so um, it should work So uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if you guys like this uh, this transceiver. I will definitely design a PCB board uh, to to make it match uh, in a matchbox, and uh, I think I will have a lot uh, a lot of fun with that. I'm not sure. Probably in the days with better propagation, I get to hear a little bit more. Right now, the propagation is not that great, but uh, yeah anyway so i think that's it for today i just wanted to show you this uh, this interesting project um, i'm going to finish designing the pcb board send my order and once it's done i'll be back with another video where you get to see it in action um, we'll connect it we'll do some uh, transmissions harmonic suppression test power test anyway right now it's still doing about uh, 550 600 700 milliwatts depending on the transistor and uh, um, the voltage that you power it with but um, yeah it's fun it's really fun and i'm really happy that it works with two transistors and i think it can be adapted for other bands as well but um, i'll stick to 40 meters anyway run out of crystals <laughs> so so yeah um, it's a PTT call with two transistors instead uh, but i get to listen into this uh, crystal earpiece and I don't need the audio amplifier. This is what I wanted. Something extremely, extremely simple. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Until next time, uh, 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo. And don't forget about the special deals from PCB Way.